moving through to another aspect of managing risk and, and this is of the machines. In the end, it's because our machines don't fail that the operation it produces things so well to such a good quality for the entire operating period of its life. So yeah, that the having machines that you can trust, you believe in, you know are right, is a foundational requirement in PEW. This was our um, cylinder valve that we talked about previously. If the valve is destroyed, what's the impact on the business? We drew up our flow diagram here and we went through these failure scenarios. Uh, what, what are the causes of stress and what are the impact? Causes of, uh, so we want to find all the causes possible. The ones that are really realistic for this situation. Now these valves can burn out. There's only a few ways the valves are going to, be, going to burn out. The trouble is this valve is on a diesel engine driving a fire fighting pump of a huge fuel terminal. And the consequence of this thing failing for the company is absolutely massive. If that was in a diesel engine of a, a mining truck and I've got a fleet of 150 trucks and one truck's out for, a, for three or four weeks, it's not a, not a different, con different scale of problem. And this becomes clear when we did analysis. Yeah? If this is a one truck out of a fleet of 150, um, the, the impact in the business is much, much less than this only firefighting pump they've got um, that is there to back up if loss of power happens. Yeah, bear in mind, in a, in a refinery, that electric motor that drives the first duty pump, uh, if the fire burns the cable to that, to that motor, uh, or, or the fire blows up the switchboard that, that's supplying that motor, this pump's got to start. So once that electric driven pump is unavailable, this is the only thing left to save that business from disaster. So there's some really serious risks here. What is unknown, of course, is the likelihood. Is it going to happen at all in the 100 year life of this terminal? Or, or this is the bit that we'll never be sure. The question is, can you afford it to happen at all? And if the answer is no, I can ha not afford to have any fire that destroys my business at all, then it's simple. This machine can never be allowed to be unavailable and un unreliable. Though I may never see that money spent in it come back to me. It's purely a matter of certainty and security. So sometimes it isn't the dollars and cents that are important. It's the fact that I can't afford to lose half a billion dollars in a fire. And if that means I've got to spend $50,000 a year to protect against half a billion, billion dollar loss sometime in the next 100 years, or next 50 years, then you do that. And you'll never see the return except you know, the satisfaction in here and the, and the happiness up there to know we're doing the right thing for the business. This business is safe. And, but there's no financial gain from that. The gain is in not having the loss. And this is the bit that's always going to be hard with management. Things that may never go wrong in a hundred years. How do you justify doing anything to solve that problem? All we can say is if it goes wrong once, what does it mean? Half a billion dollars. Okay. Roll the dice. Could be your lucky day. Could be your lucky decade. Could be your lucky two decades. Could be your lucky five decades. Take your punt. Now, I as a manager of this business would never go there. You know, that's senseless. But I can never be sure there will be a failure. But I want to be sure there will be, never be a failure um, because of the impact of that event if it actually happens. So yes, yeah, sometimes it isn't about money. It's about the smart thing to do. We've seen this a couple of times now and uh, I need the numbers that drive reliability into that very tight narrow boundary that always gives me high uptime. I want to build a process across my whole life cycle, across my whole business that creates outcomes in here. Because when I'm in there, I know I've got topped outcomes. I know I'm going to make a fortune. And good enough never is, is uh, been said many times by people that know what they're talking about. 